What's up guys, today I got a pretty cool video. It's another Nipex tool haul and it come from somebody that watched our channel and left a comment and it was a pretty good suggestion. So you guys stick around. All right guys, like I mentioned in our intro, the last time I did a Nipex tool haul, which has not been very long ago, someone, Ed, A to Z, left a comment suggesting that I should try the Nipex locking pliers. As you guys know, I've had quite a back and forth deal with some locking pliers. Uh, I purchased the snap-on ones and they was complete garbage. And I've looked at other brands. I like the original Irwin's, but sometimes you just want something a little bit better. I've had great success with all of the Nipex pliers, the Nipex Cobras being the best pliers I've ever used by far, and the Swedish style pipe wrench. So I decided to take Ed's advice, and I looked on the internet, and I found some pretty cool tools that I wanna share with you guys, and the locking pliers is one of them. So before we start this video, let me say, um, when I purchased these, I actually went back and looked all over the internet to try to find cheaper prices that I could share with you guys. And that way, if you've seen them, you wanted to save some money, you can. And the links to these will be below. Obviously, Amazon was the king on the prices of all of these tools, except for one, and that one was on KC Tools. So let's dive into these, and I'll show you guys what I picked up. So let's get to it. All right, so obviously since Ed recommended these, here they are. This is the Nipex 4104-250. They're $22.38 off of Amazon. Like I say, I checked several different sites and Amazon was the best price on these. So I expect nothing less from Nipex. The way the teeth is in here, I feel like they're gonna grip extremely well. And the locking design that they have, sort of like the Irwin, which is the king, the original makers of vice grips. And I like that they had the little bit longer release mechanism on the bottom. I think these are gonna hold up really well. And we'll do a follow-up video once we get some miles on them. But they feel really good in the hand. They're heavy, you can tell they're a quality tool like most of the Nipex tools that I've seen. And they're made in Germany. So that was the first thing that we picked up the next thing is the mini bolt cutters. Now I have the straight version of these and I like them a whole lot, but a lot of times when I was using them, I was wishing it had an angle on it, you know, for getting down in places and cutting it off pretty smooth. Um, the angle is just gonna allow you to have a little bit different versatility when it comes time to cutting with stuff. If you've never used the Nipex mini bolt cutters, these things are amazing they will really surprise you at how much you can cut with something this small. The part number on these is a 71-21-200 and it's $56.78 off of Amazon. These things are neat. You can see the angle that's on the head of these. It's gonna allow you to cut off stuff that you need with pretty much any kind of ease. Uh, like I say, I'm a fan of the straight ones. I expect nothing less of these. I think these will actually probably get more use. So that was the second item. All right, guys, so the next thing that I picked up is the Knipex Swedish style pipe wrench. They call it an S-type wrench. And the part number on this is a 836010. It's $80.48 off of Amazon. It's 13 inches long. These are great. You know, it's got the button on it. You press it and you can adjust it super quick. They go all the way up and down really quick with that help of that button. These things are great. I've got a pair that I purchased from Matco Michael and I really like this style pipe wrench. Uh, I know a lot of people really brag on the PWZs by Snap-on, but they've got a wide head and a lot of times that hurts you when you're trying to work on stuff. These things are great. As you can see, the head's a lot smaller. If you're doing airbag studs, these things are the best for pulling those studs out. They work really good. I highly recommend these. If you guys have to do any kind of turning of round objects, 
Take a look at these. You will not be disappointed. These are the king of grip. All right, guys, so the next thing I picked up is the seven and three quarter inch multi-strip auto adjusting strippers. They go from an eight to 32 AWG. The part number is a 1242-195. These run $95.83 off of Amazon. These things are tremendous. As you guys know, that's watched my channel for a while, know that I'm a huge fan of soldering and using heat shrink versus butt connectors. We do a ton of wiring jobs here, a lot of trailer lights. Um, you know, drivers want to add lighting on the exterior of their trucks, whether it be chicken lights on the bumper or the rear sides. We do quite a bit of that. You know, we do a lot of work for the city, and they're always tearing the lights out from under their trailers. And these things right here is going to make quick work of those wiring jobs, make life a little bit easier. What's cool about these, you can adjust the depth of how deep it, you want it to strip your wire by pinching each side of this red stopper and you can pull it up to adjust how deep you want the strip. Now these things work really great. So these things are super simple. You push the wire in, you hit the stopper, which is your depth gauge and boom, it's done. These things strip wire really quick, like no tomorrow. And I actually like the front load design because if you guys have worked on many trailers, you know that the wiring's always close, especially like in the rub rails at the top, drip rails at the top. You can get in there, strip the wire, and be able to solder a piece onto it without having to do a lot more work. You know, these things are fast, they're easy, they're super lightweight. You know, I know they're pretty expensive, but when you look at how much time you're gonna save if you do a lot of wiring and how easy it is, plus that depth gauge making everything uniform, you set it the way you like it, it's gonna make it a whole lot quicker when it comes to solder jobs. But anyway, guys, that's my video today. Um, hopefully you like it. And like I say, I did a lot of homework for you to find the cheapest prices available on the internet for all of these products that I showed you today. Amazon has one out on all of them except for the one on the Swedish style pipe wrench and KC tool beat them on the price, but currently they're out of stock. So I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging. I threw a link to Amazon in there. It's about four bucks more to purchase it off of Amazon. But anyway, guys, that's the video today. Hopefully you like it. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free, it never costs you guys a dime. Thanks for those of you that left comments, suggesting other tools, and hopefully we'll do more of these videos like this. Check out these Knipex pliers. You will be happy that you did. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.